Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, my name is Nicole, and this morning I feel like I've lost my mind. <laughs> I spent quite a bit of time looking for my flower seeds. Uh, I did a whole buying up of flower seeds last year, and I have storage containers, and I could not find the flower storage container. So, first off, oops, here is how I store my seeds. These are vegetable seeds. They are done by variety. So like I have squash and zucchini. I have together, I have onions and leeks together. Uh, I have like just one for corn. Although I have more corn than this, so I don't know where all my corn is. I have one that's not labeled. <laughs> Oops. But it has uh, sugar snap peas in it only. Uh, random stuff together like cucumber and watermelon. Because, you know, why not? Uh, or how about this one? Asparagus, eggplant, okra, SC, and BS. Swiss chard is the SC and the BS is <laughs> I don't even know uh, apparently I don't have any BS anymore all out of BS here folks you heard it from me <laughs> uh, green beans so anyway Random stuff that I didn't know where to put it. Also, no label. So that's how I have my vegetables and herbs broken down. And the herbs are actually all together. One container by themselves. And if you can't tell, it's a little overflowing. <laughs> and I actually don't have all of them in there because I have a whole bunch over there. My flowers I have set up differently. My flowers... Uh, I kept empty seed packets last year to remind myself to order new if I wanted, and I didn't do. So that was Cosmos, Snapdragons, and another variety of Snapdragons. So oh, that's fun. Full Sun Pollinator variety that I just bought. It has Zinnias. I love Zinnias. Shasta Daisies, Gar Gazinia, and Dill. Anyway, my flowers are set up. They are in colored ones so that they don't get mixed up with my vegetables. These are photo storage boxes. They're great. I got mine at Joann's on sale, but you can find them on Amazon. As you can see, they fit uh, seed packets perfectly. A lot of people do this, although I have recently seen a really cool way that another gal did it, which makes me want to go buy another one of these just to do her method. Like, keep all my stuff in here like this, but then go buy another one for what she does. But anyway, I have my flowers broken down by letters. So we have A, B, C. If you can't do the alphabet, then you're screwed. Um, so right now I currently have flowers in letters, whoops, A, B, C, D, F, G, H, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, or no, P, R, S. My additional, I have them in T and B and W, O and Y, and Z, because I know I have zinnias. So I have all these. Then, all the letters that are left, which is E, I, Q, X, and U, plus I have a bunch of just empty blank containers, you know, I guess if I break one, or actually, I could probably do the method that I'm doing a little bit of research into in these blank ones. Anyway, 
they're just hanging out over here in this other container. So I have three of these storage containers. That's why this morning I had trouble finding one of them because I could find two, but not the third. <laughs> it was like buried in the closet like this and down and under things and anyway. Um, so let me do a run through real quick, find what seeds I want to plant and then let's do a video of what I'm gonna plant this year. You should see the amount of pack seed packets I pulled out just in flowers. It's kind of obnoxious. I definitely do not have enough room in my house to start these. And I have my shed and I was gonna kind of hold off on the shed, but I'm almost thinking I don't have time to hold off for starting in the shed. So we may just have to start in the shed. So we are going to do the flowers now. And I think I'll do my vegetables in the second one because I have a bunch of flowers. Okay, since I had them sitting there, we're going to be planting some dahlias. Uh, these are cherry pie blend. I've actually never had any luck with dahlias. Uh, I've tried planting them at least once, if not twice, and never gotten them to actually bloom. They are done by bulbs. I have seven bulbs here, and I have a couple in my truck that are a different variety, but my truck isn't home right now, so I can't even show you what they are. I can't remember. I don't know. I also bought elephant ears because they're so fun. My sister-in-law named hers Ursula because <laughs> it's kind of like all over the place. It's fun. Uh, so I'm going to be planting those as well. Then we have straw flower. These straw flowers were so fun last year. If you look back through some of my uh, garden tour videos, they had just the coolest sound to them. So these are purple red. We also have tall double mix straw flower. We're going to do snapdragons. Anytime mix stocks. Blue Monday Sage Salvia, uh, Sweet, let's see, Double Flowered Mixed Color Sweet William, uh, these are Purple Red Straw Flower, more straw flowers because they were so fun, uh, Copper Red Straw Flowers. Uh, black Swan Poppy. I need to quit saying uh in front of all of this. I don't know why I am. Amazing Gray Poppy. Poppies I've never had good luck starting either. But I'm going to try again. Uh, these were bought in 2021. These were bought in 2021. So the seeds are starting to get old. Not really, but brushstroke viola pansies. They're pretty when I can get them to go. I can't always get them to take off either. I'm not as good at the flowers for some reason, and I don't know why, but I'm not giving up. Uh, magic carpet mixed color portulaca. These were so pretty. Last year I put these in my uh, truck planters so cool because they're kind of a ground cover purple emperor nasturtium nasturtiums you're supposed to actually be able to eat and they're a really good one to plant in vegetable gardens because they'll draw insects and stuff i love marigolds so we have cracker jack marigolds orange hawaii marigolds Queen Sophia Marigolds, uh, Cracker Jack Mixed Color Marigolds, Jolly Jester Marigolds, Oops. 
Those are fun. You can hear my dogs in the background. I apologize. Key lime marigolds. Last year we bought some African marigolds. We actually bought those, not seeds. They were really pretty too. Uh, moss rose. Those are a lot of fun. Bachelor's buttons in the fireworks. I actually last year tried to plant a planter that looked like red, white, and blue and could not find blue. So I wound up putting a purple color of whatever it was I put in it. Uh, these are red, white, and blue. Hello. How cool. <laughs> we have Coropsis, Seropsis, I, I don't know. Incredible seashell mix. Very pretty. S uh, Super Bissima, Giant Alba Petunias. For some reason, I can really botch these flower names up. It's Tip Top Mahogany Nasturtiums. We'll plant some more lavender. Chartreuse and purple mixed flowers because they're just so darn pretty. Forget me not bluebird or bluebird forget me nots, I guess. Obviously, I planted some of those lit last year and I don't actually remember them taking off. Uh. Crane white, cut flower, kale. Pretty picture, right? Crane red, cut flower, kale. Again, another pretty picture, right? Johnny jump ups. I planted these and I can't remember if they actually took off or not last year. I kind of think they did. Uh, orange gumferina. Raspberry cream gonfarina. We actually had really good luck with the gonfarina last year. Both the stuff that we bought and um, the stuff that I started from seed. Like I said, this is a lot of flowers. <laughs> good thing I have my shed. Uh, Black Eyed Susan. Butterfly Flower. I don't remember those actually doing anything last year. They are a perennial, so maybe they'll come back this year. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Coxcomb, this variegated variety. It is so pretty. I've had really good luck with it the last couple of years. Uh, dang it. <laughs> Rainbow Coleus. Wah! Ha ha! Rainbow Coleus. I'm going to drop it on the floor yet again. Uh, the clove scented basil. I know that's an herb, but it says, do not use for food, feed, or oil purposes. So I'm assuming it is just for looks. So we're just going to start it just to have it. More bachelor's buttons. This is the classic artistic mix. Rego Mixed Color Aster. Hagen Light Blue Aster. I don't remember those doing anything last year. Uh, African Daisy Mixed Colors. Starlight Formula Mix Asters. I had really good luck with some Asters last year. I just don't remember which ones they were. I'd have to go back and look. Uh, kaleidoscope four o'clocks. These are all zinnias. These are all zinnias. This butterfly garden that I showed you a minute ago, it has zinnias, shasta daisies, garzanias, and dill. It's still funny to me that there's dill, but dill is a good pollinator, so. Uh, tiger's eye mixed sunflowers. I feel like I have sunflowers somewhere else, but I cannot find the seeds right now. 
Uh, we'll do this hummingbird mix wildflower seed variety again. I've planted it in the last couple of years and it just hasn't done anything. So we'll try again. And now for the zinnias because I love zinnias. I realized this last year. So these are giant cactus mixed zinnias. Red beauty zinnias. Cut and come again zinnias. Like I just went to the seed place and just started buying all the zinnias last year. <laughs> uh, California giant zinnias. Cut and come again a mixed color zinnias. Fruit smoothie mixed color zinnias. <laughs> I really like zinnias, obviously. Giant flowered mixed color zinnias. Purple Prince Zinnias. I didn't have enough Zinnias last year. And then apparently I went to Callie Kim's website and bought all the Zinnias that she had. Like this is a whole deal of Zinnias. We have California Giant, Salmon Queen, Giant Cactus, uh, Lilliput, Scarlet Flame, and Violet Queen. I feel like I just said Violet Queen. Oh, no, I said Salmon Queen. So anyway, those are the flowers that we are going to start for our 2023 flower garden. And I am excited. So next time when you, we come back, you know, we'll regroup and we will do what I'm going to start in the vegetable garden that hasn't already been started. Let me get on these and I'll see you back. Okay, bye! Oh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe on the link down below. Tell me what else I should buy. I didn't buy any flowers really this year. Uh, I, I take that back. I bought a couple. Um, like two or three. And that was it. All this is from older stuff. So when I plant it, I'll have to plant multiple seeds. Because they won't have quite the germination rate that a brand new seed will. But I'm really excited. And if you have any tips and tricks on how to get flowers to start, please give them to me because I'm not so good at that. Okay, see you later. Bye.